Years ago, I got a stack of crafting magazines from my grandmother and in one of them was a random magazine that had to do with some locations in Wales and in it was a castle and now I'm looking at it. We are here at Carrick Kennan Castle. This one is pretty interesting. A, it looks epic, but B, according to the website for this castle, the people that own the farm that surrounds the castle were purchasing the farm from the person who owned the land that they're currently on and the castle, and the man's lawyers made a mistake. And in the mistake, when selling the farm, it also included the castle. So the guy was meaning just to sell them the farm, but he somehow sold them the farm and his castle. And now they have it. It's crazy. We have bought our tickets. We are in, we are here. If you have a CADU membership, they are part of CADU, but for the love of heaven, mention it when you first get here. We didn't realize it until they'd after, after they'd hit a couple of buttons. And then I asked, oh, are you CADU? We have a membership. And they got very upset because it already hit the buttons. Um, so we went ahead and paid for our tickets, which is totally fine. It was 11 pounds for the both of us. I think it's 1000% worth it. But if you have a membership, you can use it here. Just make sure you mention it right out the gate. This castle we're looking at here was built by Edward I, like many of the other castles we'd been to. Um, he seized it, and when he seized it, he built his own castle here, and that is what we're currently looking at now. Although it has been destroyed in some following wars where people took it and decided they didn't want other people to have it, so they destroyed it. Like rain might be moving in. I'm trying to get some sprinkles. This is the outer wall gatehouse. Onward, it's red. Not only are we excited to explore the castle itself, but accessible from inside the castle is a cave system that runs underneath it. would have been drawbridge number one. If I remember correctly from the sign, I think there were three. 
this would be drawbridge number two. And this would have been drawbridge number three, leading directly into the castle. <laughs> We're currently hiding from the rain. We got all the way up here, got inside the castle. No, it's coming down pretty good. <laughs> Which is great. It's really pretty. It just, I don't have a way to protect this camera from rain. That's the only so bummer. So that's the only bummer. Did we bring the GoPro, which is waterproof? Yes. Did we bring any sort of handle to attach it to? That's my fault. But we'll wait the rain, rain out here. It's not that big of a deal. It and looks like there's sun coming, so we'll see. We'll what it uh, takes. keep exploring. The rain has let up a little bit, so we were able to get out and move around. Uh, quite a few of the castles we've been to, we've showed you guys arrow loops. Um, the thing to remember is that castles were things of war, and as war evolved, i.e. you went from using bows and crossbows to using muskets, the castles had to evolve as well. Behind me, there used to be an arrow loop, but it has now been sealed up because it was no longer necessary when muskets came out. And then they came up with these, which are musket loops. And as you can see, they're much more narrow, but muskets were a very different type of weapon. Castles are generally built on the best land position, and that's usually the high ground of the surrounding area. That is the same for Carrig Kennan. And what's really interesting about this castle is that you can really see where they've built alongside the natural landscape of this particular mountaintop, hilltop. Um, the, you can see where the limestone is and then where they've built over it. So it's very much a combination of using what's here because I believe it's on this side or this side. It's just a sheer drop. Um, so you would have to imagine trying to scale that to get here. And it's also really interesting, this huge crag of limestone right in the middle of the courtyard that is just here, that they would have just lived around while they were here. We are currently in the chapel. It's very, very small. It's also the highest point that you can actually get to in this castle. There's not really a lot left of stairways and those kinds of things. So this is as tall as you get. Um, there's just really not a lot left. This would have been the Lord's Chamber, not only as the sign, a dead giveaway as to what it is, but you can also tell by how big and decorative the windows are. This would have been the private quarters of the Lord of this castle. If you watched our last vlog, we were at St. David's Cathedral and buried there is the man who they believe built the original castle that was here. It's not this one. His castle was torn down, I believe, when Edward I took over to build this place. But it was kind of a neat random happenstance that we saw his burial place earlier today and now we are standing in a place where he built a castle. So they think, so they think. Now it's time to check out the cave.
that one was steep. I made my legs tingle. They did mention on their website that if you were to go down in the cave that you should probably bring um, a torch or a flashlight of some sort. We're just going to see if we can get by with our phone lights because we didn't bring anything. But let's see what it looks like. Also, I'm not sure how well the camera's going to do down there in the dark. It usually does pretty well, but we'll see. Also know that the camera will lighten things a lot. So when we're like, oh my god, it's so dark down here and you guys can see totally fine, it's because of this camera and we really can't see anything. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, bye. Bye. This thing just goes straight down and it does get very steep. It gets really spooky down there. <laughs> Danger, dark and narrow staircase. I am excited. But I also know that this, this is a start to every horror movie that ever existed. Let's do it. Let's We're going to make Let's wise choices. <laughs> I mean, there's 100% going to be a monster down here, right? <laughs> Go ahead, Lydia. Tell the people what happened. I scared myself with my own shadow. <laughs> Because I did this, and it moved on the wall over there. My hand did. It was spooky, okay? <laughs> Shut up. No, can you no. see anything? Yeah, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Well. Okay. Billy wants me to talk about the pigeonholes behind me, but I'm really worried something's going to be coming at us from this direction while my back is turned. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> So bad at me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry. I thought it'd be funny, and now it's not so funny. Apparently, my natural defense is to sob so that whoever's attacking me will just not feel hurt bad the for you. <laughs> feel bad for you. Oh, she's crying. Oh. Anyways, pigeonholes for the food for the monster. You go first. No. You go first. You made me cry. I'll go first. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Our parents are going to be so happy with us. I know. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm in a dark hole. <laughs> oh. oh my god. It's slippery. Okay. Nightmare. You're doing great. Uh -huh. huh. It is slippery. <laughs> I don't know how far we're in now, but we're to the point now where like, like it's real dark. It's like it's, total, it's, it's, it's pitch, pitch dark. I can't, I can't do it. It's, I can't. I can't do it. Yeah. One lightning distraction. <laughs> Seriously though, this cave goes on and it leads out somewhere, I believe. Oh my God. Um, but, but it's so here. slippery and I don't have a way to hold this camera without falling, so we're probably gonna call it good here. Hello? Hey, oh my god, please don't. That's when somebody answers with a machete. Hello. Oh my god, William Travis. I am <laughs> I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> Stop scaring me. Is there people? Okay, you ready to go back up? I don't know, but I'm like really curious to go and keep going. But then also very scary. Let's go down a little more. Okay. Uh, we hit a dead end. I don't know if it exited at one point, but it does not anymore. And now we get to turn around and go all the way back. But at least I know that there's no scary things down here. Unless they have hiding places. Stop. <laughs> stop. We did it. We made it back to daylight. That's my cell phone shining on the cave behind us. In case anyone else is wondering, 
the dead ends. If you don't feel like going all the way to the end and you just want to get this far, you're not missing anything, it doesn't come out anywhere, just a dead end. This castle is awesome and amazing. Yes. We've been very lucky because there hasn't been that many people up here, literally just us and two other groups, and most of them just came up, kind of looked around, and then left. Yeah, they were only here for, like, maybe five minutes. So we were able to kind of play around and get some weird epic shots and not feel too embarrassed about it. And not feel in the way for everybody else. <laughs> now we're going to head down the hill and maybe stop at their little shop. And then we are on the road. We are moving uh, destinations again tonight. We've left our little cottage and we are heading to our one big splurge of a hotel room. here for four nights. We got a deluxe room, which is supposed to have a very nice bathtub. And it's going to be a tub. Did you see your tub? I did see my tub. It's not the room that we'd hoped to get. We'd requested another one, but we didn't know if it was going to be available. But I will take this. This will work. We have a dinner reservation in about an hour, so we're gonna go get all the stuff out of our car, walk awkwardly through the restaurant to get to the stairs that go up to our room here, and then hopefully have a nice meal and get some rest. And then enjoy this guy. <sighs> I have so many bath bombs. We were going to vlog dinner, but turns out none of the plugs in our room are working right now, uh, and they won't be able to fix it until tomorrow morning, which means that we can only charge a very limited amount of things through our brick chargers that we have with us. Thank God they're charged. Uh, so we're just going to end the vlog here in the hope that we can charge all of those batteries so that we can vlog tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm.